Hello, my beautifuls. It is your girl again. I'm sorry I'm setting this up and yeah. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, guys. I'm setting this up so I can start recording. And let's get into it. OMG, my lovelies. I'm sorry guys if it's like crooked, but I'm trying to fix you up right now. Oh my god guys, if you haven't seen the season finale of Star Trek Discovery, That Hope Is You, Part 2, please go see it right now. It was jam-packed. Everything was jam-packed. I am kidding you. This is going to be a big review. I'm going to try my best to uh, tell you all the parts of what happened and my honest review of the episode. And then, if you want, I will do it. If I, it, It's an hour video. I was going to do it, but then I couldn't. So let's get to it. Hello guys, it's my review of this season finale of Discovery Season 3, Episode, I think, 13, That Hope Is You, Part 2. Let's go. Guys, oh my gosh, I can't explain. You have to see the episode. I mean, it was jam-packed, action-packed filled. You name it. Taniqua Martin Green head out the freaking park. I knew she was going to do it. I knew it. You know, she comes to, they come together and made this jam packed better than the season finale of season one and two. Better than anything we've ever seen in Star Trek. It's like we got all these people coming together and they're like this. Boom, 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 boom. You know, like really good they're coming together you know like really good and now they know what they're going to be doing and now they're going to do stuff and they found out about the who did the bird and now i'm going to get into this episode and i'm going to make it quick and short because i don't want it to be an hour-long video so if i skip parts in this episode please go watch it and we discuss anything i mean oh my gosh this episode was like oh my god so good so good and here I am talking about it like it was so damn good. I'm not going to remember everything in the episode because it was an hour long, but yeah. But I kid you not, I got to say that this episode just got me on the edge of my seat. And it was so damn good and I'm so happy. Star Trek Online, put out those uniforms right now. I am not playing around with you people. I want those uniforms. Oh my God, in the end of the episode... They were given the Star Trek 31st Century uniforms. And then the guy we saw in um, episode one, where, you know, she meets him. He gets to be a Starfleet officer. <gasps> yeah, I'm, I'm doing spoilers right now, guys. I'm sorry. But if you haven't seen the episode, go watch it. Come back and let's discuss it. So, this episode had a lot of turmoils against it where we got to see most parts like I'm gonna discuss like what I can and then I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts and that's it all right so we left off Osiris there with Discovery trying to get in I forgot the first part so brain fart she's trying to get the Discovery because she wants to, to um, distribute the spore drive among everybody Discovery crew is trying to get back the ship and you know Tilly is trying to get back everything into one piece because she wants to get the ship back she wants everything back the way it was and meanwhile you know like on the planet they're trying to figure it out I'm gonna give you what I remember on the episode because you know I got brain fart 
So, and then we're going to discuss the whole episode, what I thought about it. All right. Then we've seen that they found out about the burn, right? That so called made the burn. And now, you know, when his mother died, he screamed and then he made the burn. Like, that makes total sense right there. But, yeah. So, on Discovery, let's go to the Discovery scene and discuss that first. So, on Discovery, you know, Burnham and Book and them are there because they're trying to get where that dilithium planet is. And Burnham decides to break the fuck out, which she breaks the fuck out. She's like, all right, I'm going to break out. I'm going to do this. So, Nicole Martin Green in that scene was so damn good. Even beating the hell out of Osira. She was fighting Osira, shooting Osira, and Burnham finals the final blow to Osira, killing her. And now, because of that, the chain is broken up. There's no more Emerald Chain. They're all broken up. And now, uh, Federation member worlds that were part of the Federation before the burn decided to rejoin. And non-member worlds are like, oh god, let's join. Like, now they're rebuilding the Federation. Now the Vulcans are rejoining. Now the Trill are rejoining. Now everybody's rejoining because of this. And in that time, Awakashu, I don't know her name, but Awakashu or Awakahu goes and, you know, Osira, like, gets it done where she takes off their, their breathing and all that shit. Meanwhile, you know... Burnham has to stop the Federation from firing because she has a plan and now her plan is all together in one single moment where she's this and this and this and that and she's working with her crew to order in order to finalize it you know and she's working to save the discovery with book and they kill the guy from season in episode two and, you know, the guy that, um, Giorgio kicked his ass? Yeah. And the one who was there on the bridge and, and he beat, he beat the fuck out of Ren and then Osara killed Ren. That guy died. And Burnham beat the shit out of everybody. Sonequa Martin Green was a badass boss. And I'm gonna say that the bomb.com. She's the bomb.com. She beat the shit out of everybody there, even Osira, because she went and she reset Discovery back to factory resettings. You know how you set, you reset your phone and it goes back to factory resettings? Well, that's what she did with Discovery before the upgrade to her. So basically, she went back to factory resettings except the shields and, and the outside aesthetics to the ship. So... And the weapons and all that shit, but, yeah. So she resets Discovery after she kills Osira. Meanwhile, on that planet, you know, Saru is helping um, Sokol. And finally, Sokol realizes, I gotta face this danger. And Saru offers to help him, saying, look, I'm gonna help you because you need help. And at the end, you know, like, they get, like, Adira comes in. And she's there. We see Grey. And... Hugh's like, we're going to help find a way where you can be seen, Gray. That's what he tells him. And Adira is crying because she's going to lose Gray. And Gray finds out the ship has fallen apart. So she, in that scene, Blue Del Barrio and Adira, the one who played Adira, did a damn good job on the, on the characters. Like, damn good job on the acting. Even Wilson Cruz did a damn good job. Anthony Rapp was so damn good playing that like he was really upset about it. And then we found out that Book, because he's a Larian or whatever species he is, can't control the spore drive. We found that out. So, then, the scientist that was there that was questioning Stamets stays on Discovery. And Burnham says, I got a plan. I got a plan. I got a plan. And then Tilly's like, you know what? You command Discovery. You do it. You do it. Like, Tilly hands it to, to her. And she went like a badass saying, okay, let's get our warp core and eject it. And then book 
can go and control the spore drive and that's exactly what happened and they went back to the planet and then we found out that when Sokol's mother was dying due to radiational poisoning he got mad and he screamed and then a shock wave hit that the lithium planet and it caused a shock wave throughout the quadrant causing the the burn and now we found out who caused the burn which makes sense kind of makes sense because he's connected to the lithium somehow. So then the mother tells a little message saying, take care of my boy, do this and this and that, take him to his grandfather. And Saru tells him, saying, hey, we're real. And he's like, oh, you, you, you are, you are who you are. And they turn back to who they are. Like Saru back into a Kelpian. And Saru tells uh, Sokol saying, look, I'm going to help you. I am going to help you become who you are. I'm going to help you. I'm going to be there for you. And then we see Saru on Kaminar with Sokol. And then we see Burnham there. And then we see the guy who was sitting in the office watching it for so many 47, 40 years. And comes back and he's a lieutenant now. And wearing Starfleet yellow uniform. You know, uniform of yellow stripe. And... You know, then we found out Admiral Vance, yeah, Admiral Vance comes back and tells her, saying, like, you're doing it your way. You, you know, I, I shouldn't have yelled at you. You're doing it your way. My daughter used to do that with math, like drawing instead of numbers. And he's like, look, we want you, you're going to be the captain of Discovery. Saru so wants you to be captain of Discovery. And then now Burnham says, no, we, I want to wait for Saru to come back. But he's like, no, you got to be the captain. So then Burnham comes back. We see everybody on Discovery wearing the new 31st century Starfleet uniforms. And Burnham sits down on the, on the table. And we see everybody there in, in, in the new Starfleet 30 se 32nd century uniforms. The new uniforms that we see in, in the whole season. And then we get a recap of what's going on, and then it ends. But let's get back to the fight. She's talking to um, Osira, and Osira pushes her through the thing, and she comes out like a badass with a gun, and goes, boom, boom, like, like shoots her right there and kills her, and she falls back like this. I'm like, oh my god, I knew it. Burnham kicked her ass. So Nequa, Martin Green went out like a badass and killed Osira like a badass. And Osira's act, the one who plays Osira, I forget her name, did a damn good job, went right there like this, going boom, and beat the hell. Ooh, she sis. This season, I'm going to explain the season right now. This season was jam-packed. Some episodes better than others. But in this season, we got everything that happened. And now we got a great season. Great season. I'm not saying season one and season two was bad of Discovery. Where we got, you know, the Klingon War. Mm, didn't make sense. Alright, because I, I, I didn't do reviews of season one and season two. Because I didn't know how to do reviews and I'm doing reviews to you now. But in the season, we saw all these action-packed episodes. And some episodes, Jonathan Franks did what she was a... What she did them, they were badass. I'm telling you, they were not bad at all. They were, like, freaking good. Like, I think Jonathan Franks should be directing all of Star Trek. Because of what he's been doing. But now they're filming for season four... And if you want, guys, I could do a part one and part two of what's going to happen in season four. If you want it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And then we get to see that, you know, all these member worlds that used to be in the Federation want to rejoin. And they're saying, hey, let's rejoin the Federation because now the chain is gone. The chain was holding them hostage and now they all want to join. Even non-member worlds that Osira pulled in are saying let's join this federation because they're the truth and now burnham has 
now they have to get the dilithium because they're mining that dilithium planet and it's enough dilithium to last them for generations. I am not freaking kidding you. They are back. And now we're going to see that come together because now the Discovery crew actually helped Starfleet come back together as a whole. And I think the final episode of this season was on par. It was a 10 out of 10. Blue Del Barrio did a damn good job. Uh, Adira did a damn good job. Her, her, the actress. Every actor in Discovery this episode did a damn good job. And we got Detmer there did a damn good job too. This fear data pulled Wakashu, Nawakashu, or whoever her, her name is. He, they pulled her out when she blew up the one of the nacelles with the bomb. Because, you know, Burnham told Tilly about her birthday. And she's like, okay, and then Tilly, let's do this. And they got it. They got it done. So they destroyed Osira. They just probably, they destroyed the ship. And now we got to see everything fall back together into one thing. And I'm telling you not. The Andorians will probably be, be one of the ones to rejoin. Because they, they were held as captives by Osira. And now they got the Quadrant back. They got the Federation coming back. And that is something that might happen in Season 4, which I'm not going to get into because I don't know. But we might see a trailer for Season 4. So after you see the episode, go to CBS All Access on YouTube. Uh, watch the Ready Room to see what's going to happen. And now let me just get into this and then I'm going to probably, yeah, get off here and we'll see what happens. This episode comes together where it talks about the burn. And it did make sense a little bit that, you know, a child will cause his mother was dead because he's obviously, like, I don't know. But now Saru and Sokol are together and now we got Burnham that killed Osira, and it's like all together, like they, they did a damn good job. It was like action-packed episode. It was more action-packed than the season finale of season one and season two. But the the only thing I can say about see uh, the ending of season two was the only thing that the only thing that was jam-packed was seeing in season one the USS Enterprise. But what I'm saying is that now we got all this coming together, and I'm like, okay, we got everybody that came together. And now Burnham, she came back from that thing, and she did it her way, and she helped Starfleet. She killed Osira. She gave her Osira her justice, which was death by firing squad. And she was the firing squad. And I kid you not, Osira was a bad villain in this season. And she was bad. It was like all this coming together into one um, finale, which it came all together and made sense. Where we seen in these episodes where they tortured Book and Burnham was crying. And she's like, okay, let me talk to him. And then she beat the fuck out of the regulars. She got the hell out of there. With Book, and they're beating him, and then Book kills the guy from, season, from episode 2. And then, you know, Saru decides to help the child, which I already stated that. And, you know, like, he's telling that story at the end. And then we see the whole Discovery crew now given the 31st century uniforms and saying, here, put this on. And now they're all wearing it, and now Discovery's back. And Burnham is now a captain. You know, people say Burnham was not going to be a captain. But she did become a captain. Because she did it her way. And Tilly was just told Burnham, say, you know what? You need to do it because this you should have been commander all along. And now we got to see that come together into one final season finale. And now we don't know what's going to happen in season four. But Sonequa Martin Green did a damn good job in the fight scenes. Kicking butt kicking the ass in the last episode and this episode and the hope is you part two was the best damn episode 
and now we see the discover the discovery rebuilding and now we see that they found a dilithium dilithium and now Admiral Vance now believes in Burnham. He apologized for chewing her ass out, but she did it for a reason. And now, because of that, the, the, the Federation is coming back as a whole. And I think now that we've seen what has happened, now we're going to get it all coming together as a final finale. And guys, just go watch it. Tell me what you think. Because I'm going to get off in 20 min at 20. But let me tell you this. This final finale had a lot of action-packed episodes. I have to say 10 out of 10. And I'm sorry I didn't describe the episode I was telling you about. What it was. Pieces and pieces. Basically the synaptic story. So in the end it all turned out for the Federation. Where they came back together as a whole. And now they're coming back together with. Mem um, Federation member worlds considering it and I'm thinking oh my god that uh, is a damn good episode and we get to see it in season 4 Discovery please put out more seasons of season 4 not 13 we want 20 at least well guys I'm out please leave a comment in the comment section below like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Peace out, interwebs.